So guys, I'm going to be straight up here. I lost the footage for my Yoga Hoses review when I went to PopCon. Uh, I've looked count for countless hours to find it so I can just keep going with the old footage, but I'm out. So we're going to use my Wayback Machine to go back in time and do the review, okay? You guys ready? It's win. not even supposed to be here today. Uh, what's up, guys? I just got back from PopCon, and oh my god, I got to see Yoga Hosers. I don't know if I brought that up in the original video, but I just got to see Yoga Hosers, and Kevin Smith was there. He did an intro for it. Um, Harley Quinn Smith, that's his daughter. He named, and yes, he named it after the character from Batman the Animated Series. And, but if you're following my channel, hopefully you already know that. But if not, not a big deal. Anyway... They had a, like a little intro, and it was Father's Day th this past weekend, so he, she gave him an intro and like did a, a nice little like opening thing for him and said some nice things for Father's Day. And the guy, I guess, they went to go see Finding Dory as a father-daughter thing. So that was, that's, that was pretty nice. They got to talk, talk about that for a bit. But I will say this. The only negative, and it's not even about the movie. It's just the intro, and I guess there were some scheduling issues. He was late. Maybe that wasn't on him, maybe it was on PopCon, I don't know, I'm not putting the blame on anybody, but that, that put a little bit of a damper on the waiting for the movie, and number two, he talk, Kevin Smith talks a lot. It's not a bad thing, I mean, because he runs a podcast network, he always tells long-winded, awesome stories, and I'm, I'm always down to listen to him in the car, I, just, I guess when I wasn't expecting him to talk for almost about an hour before the movie started, I just expected him maybe to just do a quick intro. But he had, he had some fun tidbits about how him and Johnny Depp got to working together, how he got the idea for making Yoga Hosers, and he had some really fun stories. Like I guess he had this one story where Johnny Depp wanted to make the detective he plays, uh, the point, because he's in this movie, to make the nose he has look more like a dick and like get veins and make it weird and shit. And I want to see more of that Johnny Depp in movies, because he's been probably, he's been doing the same one note thing, now just being weird and kooky, which it works for some things. Other things are kind of going like. Come on, Johnny Depp, we know you can do better than that. But anyway, let's talk about the movie now. And for those of you who don't know, here's the plot of the movie. So this movie takes place in Canada and is part of the True North trilogy. And it uh, stars uh, his daughter and uh, Johnny Depp's daughter as the two co-leans from Canada who are in Tusk. And they're running a convenience store similar to Clerks. And there's some crazy goings on going on. There's these little monsters called Bratsies, little uh, one foot tall little Nazis made out of sausages who are played by Kevin Smith brilliantly uh, who kill people and go through the butts to kill them which is funny because they have Tyler Posey who was in Teen Wolf so it's kind of funny imagining that happening to him like on the show or just that character but he, he plays an obnoxious he plays like a stiffler type in this and it's pretty solid it's, it's a great movie um and I just thought about this recently because he said this is almost like a family picture or almost like a movie for uh, little girls and stuff, which is kind of funny because we got this and we got Ghostbusters coming out soon. I sat there and thought about the whole movie. Besides the sausages going in uh, people's butts to kill them, uh, there's nothing too graphic or too like raunchy about this. It's almost it's almost fa fairly well made kids movie, not kids movie, but a fairly well made uh, family movie and. Yeah, besides like the weird supernatural stuff with the sausages, I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. And they're also, led, these sausages are led by Ralph Garman, who does a podcast with Kevin Smith. They've been trying to work together to, to get Ralph Garman in a Kevin Smith movie, but now they have him as a Nazi who apparently studied a lot up on old TV, which were all based on Ralph Garman's impersonations. Like, he does an Adam West at one point, uh, an Al Pacino. He's like, ooh -ah, I'm gonna get you. Ah, ooh -ah, or... Let's get them old chum. I'm not really good at doing Adam West, but maybe th me recording this will make me sound better. I don't know. <sighs> Those are awful. I'm sorry. But yeah, it was pretty solid. I, I don't know why it's getting all the hate that it's getting. Kevin Smith has even been on record on Twitter, his podcasts, and just straight up in anything saying, I'm, just, I'm making the movies that I want to make right now. This is why he doesn't do like big budget movies. Now he's just doing like these smaller movies that he wants to do. And I... He's doing the smaller movies that he wants to do, and he puts the he puts the effort in that he wants, and he he, he makes a good effort at this. And his daughter and Johnny Depp's daughter both have moments to shine, and they have moments where they're singing and stuff. I, I guess one of the main complaints uh, were people that people were saying at the festival that it premiered at were saying like, "Oh, like it's always Kevin Smith just wants to highlight his daughter." I'm like, "Yeah, why the hell not? Like he actually gets a chance to work with his daughter." 
Uh, he, he doesn't know if he's ever going to make a thing. Again, he's making movies he wants to do, and who knows how many chances he will get to work with his daughter. So if nothing else, this is a nice love letter to his kid, and also a nice, decent picture. I'm not going to give it a perfect, but I'll, I'll, give, it, I'll give it a solid 3 out of 5. I, I'll prob I'm a big Kevin Smith fan. I'll probably end up getting this at some point. And it was just, no, just a nice experience seeing them, and by the end of it, I was tired and was glad I saw it. It wasn't terrible. Definitely a step up from Tusk, because I thought Tusk was just straight up weird, and I was just like, no, 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 no more of that, please. But uh, this, this was fine. Back to old Kevin Smith, just the way we like him. And I can't wait to see Moose Jaws, and apparently they're doing a Mallrats TV show. But yeah, but yeah, that's about it for me, guys. What's your favorite Kevin Smith movie or feature that he's done? Or do you like the Clerks TV show? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, guys, when there's a will, there's a way. Thank <laughs> you.